It is really warm this week, and by warm, I mean 100 and something heat index. You might be feeling the way that I am. I do not feel like cooking. So if you want some fast, easy, delicious meals for whenever you don't want to cook in this heat, stay tuned. I've got a whole series coming up for you, probably four videos worth, and here's number one. So the first thing I did was get my beans cooked up this morning. I have pinto in here, just one cup. I covered them with a ton of water and let those cook for 30 minutes. And then I've just let it do a natural release and stay on slow cooker mode all day. And I'm gonna use those as my main protein. Now, of course you can use some cooked chicken. That's why I love to always have cooked chicken breast on hand. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do is just use some peppers and my cilantro going to get some salsa. These are some stir fry cauliflower rice packets that you can get at Costco, Trader Joe's, different brands. And you can literally just microwave them for about four minutes and it's done. It has vegetables, cauliflower, and then you can also add this to rice. So this is Dakota's favorite hot sauce from our Mexican restaurant. to cook these first. And I think we're gonna go with about four minutes. Then I'm also going to mix some brown rice in there with it. I could have just made my own rice, but this is just super fast. I'm gonna use this tonight. And then I also want these green chilies. I'm gonna use the rest of this onion. So I'm just going to chop up my fresh produce real fast. This is going to take just a couple of minutes in my skillet on the stove and I'm going to combine all of the flavors once this is sauteed. So probably five minutes start to finish because the beans are already cooked and I don't have to worry about cooking meat either. So if you are wanting to batch cook ahead of time for your summer weeks, make sure that you have things ready to go. I would definitely recommend that. Um, but you can also spend five to eight dollars on a nice rotisserie chicken and have that for the week as well. And you can use that for different types of meals, whether it's a fresh chicken salad or you can just heat it up on your stovetop and add your marinara sauce or any kind of sauce you want to and make endless amounts of dinner options. Completely up to you if you want to add meat to this one or not. We have always been happy just to have it as a pinto bean bowl or a black bean bowl and we have always just called it power bowl. So this actually brings me back to whenever we were really, really needing to save money as much as possible. We just didn't have the funds and it's a delicious meal. We never felt like we were missing out on anything, even though we didn't have meat and we are by no means a vegetarian family. So that was important to us. I'm also going to chop up my green pepper. Again, you can use any kind that you want or have on hand. You don't have to use them at all. Now you can also chop these up as small or as big as you want. Um, adding the peppers kind of makes it like a fajita bowl. So imagine you are in Chipotle or Qdoba and you get to just pick all of your toppings for your bowl. That's what you're doing in your own kitchen. So imagine what you want and just make it work or look at what you have and use that. So a lot of times if a recipe calls for a certain thing, if I don't have it, that doesn't stop me from making it. So you can use as much or as little of these ingredients as you want and be creative. Find out what works for your family. I'm also going to use cilantro, which I feel like just adds such a nice flavor to this dish. Anytime we have Mexican food, I always want to have cilantro. It just, something about it just takes it over the top and it is my absolute favorite, but I know some people find it tastes like soap. <laughs> so let me know down below, are you a cilantro fan or do you feel like it just ruins the dish? Let me know. And then this, you're just going to want to tear off just part of it. 
and then stick it into the microwave for 90 seconds. So this is the most intense part of the cooking process is just getting these sauteed. But I'm gonna be honest, you can microwave this as well. Just put a little bit of water into a microwave safe bowl and put this in there for about three minutes. To make it even more convenient, you can use a bag of frozen diced up peppers and onions. I've seen it called seasoning blend and they have it at Kroger and Walmart in the freezer section, of course. All right, so now we have all of our, woo! Okay, Not a that. professional with the camera. So here's all of our beans that we have. I'm going to just add them over here. I'm also going to add our can of chilies. And then a nice, generous amount of taco seasoning. I find this one from Costco to be pretty spicy, so just uh, do it to your own taste preferences. I'm just gonna stir it up. done this many times with corn. You can do a can of corn, frozen bag of corn, corn on the cob if you have it, and then just put that in here as well. Let that cook whenever you're actually cooking all of the other vegetables. So we're gonna take the rice out. So now because I don't wanna waste the bowl that I have all of our beans in, I'm just going to combine our brown rice and all of our stir fry mix into that bowl. Absolutely one of my favorite summertime dishes, or if I just don't feel like cooking, five minutes on the stove, microwavable, instant potable, so good. Next up is another one of my summertime staples. I'm making some quinoa salad, and that starts out with some dry quinoa that I boil on the stove. You're gonna use some mixed greens, a dressing of your choice, and all the toppings and protein that you prefer. So this I like to do by boiling one cup of dry quinoa to two cups of water with a little bit of butter, seasoning of your choice, and you're going to let that come to a full boil on a high burner. And when it does, go ahead and turn it down to a simmer and cover it with a lid until it's fully cooked. It is so easy, I promise. If you feel intimidated by it, just give it a try. It's a great meal prep idea because it refrigerates and even freezes really well so you can make a larger portion of it. I also like to have the individual bags that are pre-done. I get it from Costco and it's so convenient. Just stick those into your microwave for an easy side dish or make the salad like I'm showing you today and even though it's more money to purchase it like that it is convenient and it keeps you out of the drive through I'm just going to make a quick vinaigrette with just about equal parts of the oil and the vinegar depending on how much you want for your family or for yourself. Just put in some olive oil and some red wine vinegar. You could also use a balsamic vinegar. And you can also add some sugar to this if you want, but I just want it to be a lower calorie. And then I'm adding a little bit of mustard and some seasoning. You can use like oregano, parsley. I'm using a blend of a few different things. And then I'm just gonna whisk that all together. Now you can use any kind of dressing you want. I think a Greek dressing from the store, Italian dressing, those are really great in this. And then you can do any kind of toppings that you want as well. Now my favorite is to use beets and feta. I like chickpeas in this. You can do cucumbers, onions, black beans, olives, anything that sounds good to you. I'm just going to take some of our quinoa that we already cooked, put that in here, get my greens mixed in, and then you can just top it with anything that you want.
great whenever you're wanting something light, not too heavy on a really warm day. I love this. It's a little bit different than a salad, but it still gives you that same nice light feeling. Next, I'm making fish tacos with shrimp, but you can use any kind of fish or even chicken if you want. I'm going to use some shrimp. This is the kind that I just shared with you in my grocery haul on Tuesday. I'm going to thaw them out really fast. There's a couple different ways you can do it. It takes 10 hours overnight in the refrigerator, or I'm going to actually put them into a colander and rinse them with cold water for about five minutes, and that's what I do all the time. Uh, raw shrimp is that way. You can also do the cooked salad shrimp that way. I do that all the time. So I'm gonna get this thawed out, and then I'm gonna show you how I make the slaw. These are all the ingredients that I am using today, plus my tortillas that I wanna put the fish tacos in, and then some sauce for on top. All right, so if you make coleslaw, you use mayo, but for the tacos, I'm using sour cream, or in this case, Greek yogurt, just plain, traditional Greek yogurt. It tastes amazing. You're probably not gonna know that it's not sour cream when you taste it. So I'm using that as my cream base, and then I just wanna get this cabbage chopped up really fine. And again, that's up to you how you like your coleslaw. Um, if you want it super fine, you can even use a, what's it called? Like a, you can use a grater to make it even finer. Hello. Hi. You all done swimming? So just give my cilantro a nice rinse with water and then chop it up nice and small. And I use all of the cilantro, the stems and everything because there's still flavor in that. It's delicious and you're chopping it up nice and small anyway. So I just use the whole thing. All right, so here I probably have about four cups of cabbage, and then I'm going to add about one and a half cups of cilantro, but this is completely up to you, however much you prefer. Before the sauce, you can use part sour cream and part mayo, which is really great, but I am wanting to have less fat in my meal, so I'm just going to use all of the sour cream or Greek yogurt. So if you use a low fat sour cream, you can use this and it has more protein just to give you an extra idea on how to get some more protein in your diet. Um, and this is again, just all eyeballing it based on how creamy you want it, how much cabbage you actually used. So I think I'm gonna start out with about a cup of the sour cream or Greek yogurt and then go from there. I'm also going to toss in some cumin. Again, that's all up to your personal preference, how much you want to add. And then some lime juice, which I like to use fresh lime, but we already had this in the fridge and I just wanted to get it used up. We've had it for a few months. So about the juice of one lime. Right, now you can also add some salt and pepper to this if you want. Making coleslaw always reminds me of my grandma. She made the best coleslaw and she minced it super, super thin, but it always makes me think of her. Got our coleslaw here, I'm gonna give it a try. So if you are not trying to have lower fat, I would just go ahead and add some mayo to it as well. Just gives it a little bit more of that richness, fattiness, which fat is awesome, but I had plans on my diet today for using fat in other meals. So this, I'm just having it be a low calorie coleslaw and I think you're gonna enjoy it. All right, now our shrimp is completely defrosted and I'm just going to use this spray avocado oil. going to get them a little crisped up 
and I'm going to do three for myself and then some of the shrimp is going to be for tomorrow. I'm going to season up our shrimp a little bit. I'm usually a heavy handed seasoner. And shrimp does not take very long to cook. You're just wanting it to turn a little pink and then they'll be done. You don't want them to get too rubbery. See like right here, it's still really whitish kind of color. So they are not nearly done. We're just gonna let them go for a few minutes. And then of course you can use flour tortillas, you can do tortilla chips. You can even just have this be low carb and serve it with just the cabbage, but I am doing white corn tortillas. Now you can use any hot sauce of your choice. We've always done sriracha, but I love Cholula as well. So I'm just gonna put some on here like that. You can top it with some more lime juice if you want. And if you want to have these little holders, you can find all different variations of these, but I will leave some linked down in the description box. I found these ones at Big Lots. So it just allows you to have all of your tacos made at once. And of course you don't need those. I mean, we always grew up just making one individual taco, eat it at the table and then make another one. So however you make your tacos, the most important thing is that you enjoy. I really think that you're going to enjoy these fish tacos, whether you use a shrimp, tilapia, or even chicken. Next, I'm making what I call a caprese tortellini salad, which is an easy twist on your standard pasta salad. I'm going to use two servings of this tortellini, which ends up being three quarters cup per serving. And then I'm also using some grape tomatoes, which you can use any kind that you want. I just happen to have grape. I'm also using some pre-made pesto, which you can make it yourself if you want, or this one is from Costco. And then I also love the one that is from Target, the Good and Gather brand. It has whole pine nuts in it and it's so delicious, but I'm trying this one and then some fresh mozzarella, just depending on how much you want. really like these knives. This is the one from Time and Table. You can get them at Walmart or even on Amazon. I will have that link down below for you, but these cut so well. It was a whole pack of them. This is the smallest paring knife size. And of course you can see it goes all the way from the blade into the handles, all one thing. So that is really important to me. So that way it's not just like a blade connected into the handle. It's all one piece. Once your water comes to a boil, you're gonna go ahead and put in your pasta and then add some salt at the same time as well. You wanna always make sure that you salt your pasta water. It's probably going to take about 13 minutes to boil according to the package, but we're gonna keep an eye on it because we don't want it to get soggy. On here it says a whole serving is a quarter cup, which is 330 calories. I'm going to make my serving a little bit lighter. So instead of doing a quarter cup for one serving, I'm gonna do a fourth of that. So since I'm making two servings, I'm doing half of this serving, which is 30 grams. I'm just going to measure on my scale. It's a whole lot easier. So I tear out the weight with the bowl down to zero is where I'm starting at. Now I wanna thin this out a little bit, so I'm going to add just a splash of red wine vinegar. Stir that in. So it's almost making like a vinaigrette because the pesto has oil, and then I'm adding my vinegar. 
Alternatively, you could just add extra pesto to yours. Just depends on what kind of flavors you want, what you have on hand, and how many calories you want for your serving. So that should be good. So now I'm going to measure out two servings of my fresh mozzarella. So that's one serving so far. I'm gonna get one more. And then you can chop this up into whatever kind of size pieces that you want. Little square pieces, just little bites. And if you're interested in my cutting board, I love this. It has like these little scoops that you can either put the things you wanna keep or you know the peels and things you don't wanna keep. So there's two of those on here. This is by Time and Table as well. I like how thick it is. It has the little pedestals underneath so it can stay on your counter. It doesn't slide around. So that will be in my description box as well in case you're interested in that. And of course you can do this with any kind of pasta that you want because you can always add extra cheese or Parmesan cheese, anything you want, and then have the same kind of flavor profile. But I just wanted to have this with the tortellini. I had it in my pantry, wanted to use it. serve this I want to have some mixed greens with mine so I'm gonna put some of that on the plate and then we have our pasta salad my caprese pasta salad this is so good you can either chill it before you serve it or just like serve it pretty soon after you take it out of the pan because it starts to cool down really quickly anyway. This is delicious. I love it. Is it hot where you're at? Let me know what's on your meal plan this week. What kind of meals do you enjoy in the summertime? And if you have any hacks for easy dinners, let us know. We share ideas here at Savvy Saute. And of course, until the next video, I'll see you down in the comments.